One of the few rematches that I think was definitely necessary as soon as the first fight got over. Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson, number two, is the main event of UFC 209, and I am stoked about it. My name is Flying Brian J. This is MMAmania.com. And now, it's obviously a tough fight to call because the first one went to a draw. So if anybody tells you that they have a really good beat on the fight and they know who's going to win, they have a distinct advantage, I think they're a little bit lying, but I do feel confident in my pick. We'll get to that soon. So what do I think could be different in this rematch? Well, let's go over what each fighter should do differently, starting with Wonderboy Thompson. He really played the chosen one's game for the majority of that fight. He followed Tyron along the fence the entire time. I think that it would behoove him to get the fight back to the center of the octagon. And in the first fight, in the first round, he threw a naked leg kick that Tyron snagged up, took him to the ground, and then got him with some pretty vicious ground pound. So one distinct thing that I think Wonderboy should not do is don't throw any naked leg kicks. And in fact, I would say don't throw any leg kicks at all. Just throw most of your kicks to the body and the head, but mostly just use your hands. But make Tyron come to the center of the octagon. And basically, Wonderboy is going to need to have a near flawless performance in order to get this victory. Tyron Woodley, what should he do differently? He hurt Wonderboy multiple times in their first fight, and I think that he could have got the finish multiple times in that first fight, but he seemed hesitant. He didn't seem like he wanted to pull the trigger. So here's two things that he needs to do. Pull the trigger on some takedowns where he had a huge advantage against Wonderboy in that first fight, and number two is just let your hands fly. If you get Wonderboy hurt, don't go to the ground with him. Don't look for that ground and pound. Don't go for submissions like he did the first time. Keep it on the feet and keep landing that huge right hand. Now, my pick. In the first fight, in round number four, Wonder Boy, he went in for a blitzing striking combination and they got into the clinch and when they circled out of that clinch, Tyron hit him with a short right hand that really seemed to hurt. Wonder Boy, and that happened a couple of times throughout this fight, not only during the sequence, the lengthy sequence where Tyron almost finished Steven multiple times, but earlier on in the fight, same thing. Every time that Woodley landed that right hand, Wonder Boy lost a little bit of his eyes, his eyes got a little glossy, and he definitely seemed like he was hurt. I'm picking Woodley here. I don't think that Steven is going to be able to pull out that perfect game plan, the perfect fight. Yes, I do think that he will be a little bit different in this rematch. He will probably do some of the things that I said he should do. But also, I think Woodley, he will not be hesitant in this fight. Now, he was hesitant in the first one, and I don't think that he will be the same way here. He has tasted what Wonderboy has to offer, and he won't be scared of it, and he will come out guns a blazing. I think that he finishes Wonder Boy in this rematch. He has too much power. He has too much ability with the wrestling where Steven has a distinct disadvantage and a clear hole in his game. And I think Woodley will retain the belt here, win the rematch, and then go on to fight somebody like, oh, I don't know, George Rush St. Pierre, or perhaps Damian Maya could actually get the title shot that he deserves. But in short, I think that Tyron Woodley will be the chosen one in this fight who will get the victory. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on my next video. Namaste.